Okay, so here we are looking down Butte Road towards Glen. That's the old New World with graffiti on it. Seen a bit of graffiti appear lately. That's there. So the um, fuel repair is still there. Pharmacy is still there. Um, the paper place has, has moved out of where it says exceptions. That's a homeware shop. Uh, well, I don't know what this was, but it's now a very fancy barber shop. Thirty bucks for a haircut, and they're busy too. It's all guys with beards and things. Oh, this was the English shop. Now it's going to be a food emporium. They spent months and months doing this up. All black glass. Look, it'll be expensive. This thing here is the real estate shop for that horrible apartment block, the Victor. It's called where beach and urban culture meet. That's the line they're plugging, see? All Chinese. There's the other yogurt shop over there. That, that closed up in there. It's empty. They went bankrupt. One $2 store, two $2 stores and three $2 stores. Chocolate is still there, although that's changed hands evidently. And not as good. The toy shops in here. This is part of the farmer's building. Toy shops in there and there's a coffee club. Whoopee, all we needed was another coffee bar. So we got one. It's very busy in there. Uh, bathroom place still there. That sushi place still there. That was insurance, an insurance place. They're gone. Starfuck still there. ASB's gone in the corner here. This is the farmer's building. So that bank's in there. The flight centre's gone to a smaller place there. So, okay, we'll go quickly down here. This is still the farmer's building. Next door to that's a beauty shop. Never seems to be anybody going in there. They've never been able to rent that shop out. This was a restaurant. Didn't last long. Nobody ever went there. It was very funny. It's called Frank O's. See? Frank O's. And when he went bust, someone came along and wrote Frank O-W-E-S. Frank O's. That's been empty for months. Look, it's all the mail inside. All the fittings and that are still there. That's been empty for two or three months. There's a New York pizza place over there. That seems to be quite busy. Butcher's still there. That's the new New World. That's the back of it. That's where they put the bins. See, I get bread out of there, cheese sometimes. Uh, not a lot. There's a camera up there. Can you see it on the corner? There's a camera. So it's not really worth that too much. So that's the back of the old New World. They were looking north now. So they're supposed to start pulling that down now, but it's not happening. There's doubts as to whether it will go ahead, I think, as I mentioned. So Red Cross is still here. Um, the picture frame is still here. That was that's changed hands. That little shop there, can't remember what that was. That's now a bed, a bath boutique. But I think she's done her money. This place is very busy. All the young mothers come here and suck lattes and buy baby food with babies. It's full of babies. So we're looking towards home now down there. Park. This this area is still pretty much the same. Up shop, uh, bin in, Thai hang still there. Really cheap veggies. Oh, that's February. Next door to them is February. That's a Chinese business, but no one seems to go in there. Cafe Sofa is sold. There's never anybody in there now. Not so good, they say. 
Uh, so there's the new new world with the countdown in the background. Okay, so I'll walk up back to the main street 